Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at the Scoop Studio at Productronica 2017. I'm joined by Keith Bryant of Ixlon, Keith Bryant of Smart Group, of SMTA Europe, just all round industry guru. Keith, let's start with Ixlon specifically and the whole Comet Group thing. Tell me a bit about what advantages being within that group gives you and, and this whole um, Lab One venture in Silicon Valley. What, what additional access is that giving you? Well, if, if we look at the Lab One thing first, um, it gives us access to what I would call the potential for cross-pollination between the various divisions. You know, we have e-beam, we have portable, we have a whole load of stuff. Um, and within Silicon Valley, you have a, the, in, in arguably the, the leading R&D groups that there are probably in the universe, um, and they're on our doorstep. So if we, the, the theory is if we bring them in to look at one technology, we can introduce them to the other technologies while we're there. Um, we have electronics, x-ray, but we also have the big, what I call the crossover machines, you know, where you can put a complete laptop in that machine and make a CT image in one shot. So you know, those are the sort of things that the people who work in electronics probably don't actually realize we can do at that kind of a, a level because you can drill down and look at sort of micron type stuff from a, a picture that starts off being this big, made in one hit. So it's, it's a different kind of technology to the CT that we use in, ex, in electronics where your sample is normally about this big and that's it. Yeah. So we now have full CT which is non-destructive. Okay, that's, that's interesting. And for me, that's the key of these, these collaborations. And we're seeing, you know, we're seeing different collaborations occur in the market, VI technology acquired by Micronic and other, other, other elements going on. And I think we're going to see more of that. There's got to be a combination of group benefit, but also that deep domain expertise. And Exelon's always been very focused on what it does in the X-ray area. What, what's, what's new in that, in that area from Exelon? Well, um, We've launched six machines here, so I guess that's quite new. Okay. Um, and we managed to do it in under a five month program from concept to actually having hardware on the floor here and brochures and everything backing it up. And the, the reason that we did this is because traditionally we've sold X-ray machines to a wide variety of customers. And as we said in our round table earlier, those customers are coming more and more diverse in what their real needs are. So we've put together um, a three machine range for our Cougars and our Cheetahs, and each one is aimed at a, let, let's call it a market sector. So we have a machine that's brilliant for semiconductor, but you wouldn't want to put an IGBT in it because it isn't the best picture. But we have another machine where you can put the IGBT in it and get the best picture. And the third one is the machine for the failure analysis labs, the universities where they don't want to be running 24-7 to do very fast step and repeat, but they want to make the best picture that they can make to actually do a root cause analysis of the failure. And that's, you know, really we made the change because the, the demands of the market are becoming wider and wider, and you're in a situation where one size doesn't fit all anymore. And generally, you, the machines that we had previously, the same as all of our competitors, you know, they were a compromise. Because you want a machine that's going to do what all of the customers want, and the sweet spot is somewhere like in the middle, and now we have a sweet spot in each of the sectors. Okay, okay. makes perfect sense. So on a broader picture, Keith, I don't know how many of these you've been to, probably almost, well, probably as many as I have, although you're not as grey as I am, so maybe not. Um, but we've been watching this for some time. I think it's at least three we've been talking about Industry 4.0 and Smart Factory. It feels like we need to stop talking about it and, and some action is required and we need to be walking the walk rather than talking the talk. Are you seeing that from customers or is there still a lot of inertia in getting started? Uh, I think there's, there's still inertia, but it's getting a lot better. You know, the Hermes meeting yesterday, they're up to like 24, 25 industry partners and they're becoming very serious with the machine to machine communication and the people that I've listened to that have the let's say the management information systems that are the umbrella sitting over the top they're now becoming um, easier to interface with which was always the problem yeah. but I think to be honest with you the, the real thing that's changed is people are now looking to hold on to their customers rather than have a commercial advantage over their competitors. And when, they, when that was the state and everybody wanted their own, 
that was the real thing that was the, the roadblock. But now people have said, look, you know, I'd, I'd rather join the club than be the guy who's not in the club and lose out. Yeah, so a, a kind of a, I, I like to think of it as an altruistic new wave of collaboration, but sometimes it's an enforced collaboration. But I think we are, people are working together more than I've ever seen them work together before. Oh yeah, I mean, we, we actually have a team. Although we're not an inline product, we have a team of people working on Industry 4.0 and connectivity. That's how seriously we're taking it, and we're not one of the main inline machine suppliers. And th that team's not working in isolation, they're out with other, other teams at other companies making sure it happens. Oh, for sure. I mean, we've, we've had our product manager here and our business development manager, and they've had meetings with just about everybody in Hall 4 and everybody in Hall 2. Yeah. Okay, well, Keith, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for chatting. Always great to get your insight. Thank no you. No problem.